The month of October can be a good time to do some soil sampling. If you happen to notice any areas in your soybean fields with unexplained yield loss, one potential explanation could be a case of soybean cyst nematode. This pest is the number one yield limiting agent of soybeans in North America and is estimated to cause over a billion dollars in losses each year. We recently caught up with Nebraska Extension plant pathologist Dylan Mangel to discuss checking for pests and the mitigation options. The soybean cyst nematode is the invisible yield parasite. It causes U.S. producers about $1.5 billion a year in yield loss. So it's the number one yield limiting biotic agent of soybeans. And the reason this is so damaging is because the parasite can cause up to 30% yield loss without any noticeable above ground symptoms. So for this reason, a lot of producers don't know they have SCN and are not actively managing it in their fields. Now there's a couple ways to see if you're you have SCN in your fields. Um, the first is, is digging up plants, but oftentimes when you dig up plants, there'll be very minor, very small structures on there called cysts from the soybean cyst nematode. And those are very difficult to identify. Uh, and oftentimes the act of digging, they'll fall off. So you won't see them on there. So it's not a reliable way to know if you're losing yield to soybean cyst nematode. The second and most reliable way is soil testing. And fortunately, now's a great time to soil test because it's the end of a soybean season. And that's when cyst numbers are gonna be at their highest levels in the soil. When they're at these high levels, it makes them much easier to identify with soil testing. And now's a great time to soil test as well because the Nebraska Soybean Board, in partnership with Nebraska Extension and the Department of Plant Pathology, has funded a grant to provide free soybean cyst nematode soil testing for any Nebraska producer who would like to submit samples. So if you're interested in testing for soybean cyst nematode, the first thing you want to do is take a soil probe or a soil spade and sample dirt from the top eight inches of the soil in the root zone of your soybean field. After harvest is fine as well. The best place to test for soybean cyst nematode initially is areas of potential introduction. So those might be areas where you're experiencing unexplained low yield or areas on a floodplain that have been flooded and experienced low yield afterwards. Uh, as well as field entrances. Because this is a soil-borne pathogen, we're dragging it ourselves from field to field uh, as, we, as we move soil working equipment around. When you're soil sampling, you wanna collect about 20 or 25 soil probes of soil, put them in a bucket from across the field that you'd like to test, and mix those soil probes around with each other so you get a good mixture of the soil from that field. You can then take that soil, put it into a soil sample bag, and send that in to the university for testing. If you'd like to request free soil sample bags, you can do so by visiting our website at go.unl.edu slash SCN sample. And those bags can be directly shipped to you. So after testing, if you do find that you have a field that has SCN in it, there are many management options available. The first thing we recommend for management is selecting a resistant soybean variety. There's several resistant sources available and you can talk to your local advisors to see which one would work best in your field. We also recommend rotating through different non-host crops in your rotation. Fortunately, in Nebraska, corn is a non-host crop, so you can rotate with a corn-soybean rotation and while that won't solve the problem, it will help decrease the amount of SCN in your soils. The third recommendation is to pair that resistant variety with a nematode protectant seed treatment. There's several new seed treatments entering the market. Again, work with your local advisors and find one that's got a good history in your area. And the last recommendation is to continue testing. Because we can't see this pest, the best way to make sure your management is working is to test and make sure those SCN numbers are decreasing from previous measurements. If you've never tested your fields for soybean cyst nematode, or you don't remember the last time you've tested, now is time to test again. And again, this is the perfect time to do it with renewed funding from the Nebraska Soybean Board that provides testing for any Nebraska producers.